my name is Jessica Wright, and today I'm making a video to converse about wearable computers. I know I could sit here all day and discuss previous inventions and how we got to this point in wearable technology, but I'm just going to lightly touch on the subject because sadly, we don't have the time. So let's jump right into it. I probably shouldn't be bringing opinion into this, but hear me out on this one. Many people consider the first wearable technology to be the wristwatch. I disagree. Historically, the pocket watch was invented in 1505 by Peter Hemling. The wristwatch, however, not until 1810 by Abraham Louis Breguet. So logically, the first wearable technology would be the pocket watch, but nonetheless, the watch itself was the first wearable technology. Anyway, so we have the pocket watch and then the wristwatch based on the famous sundial. Who doesn't know about the sundial, right? You look at its shadow and the rest is history. Now we have the abacus ring, which is another thing I don't know how to read, but we're gonna discuss it anyway. In anticipation to the calculator watch, we had the abacus ring, which was popular in China during the Qing Dynasty. The ring is essentially a much smaller scale abacus that was used for calculating. Following the abacus ring, we have inventions such as the roulette shoe, TV glasses, the calculator watch, the Sony Walkman, and many more inventions of the sort, all leading up to the type of technology invention we see today. Modern day wearable computing allows for users to have access to a computing environment in a non-invasive way. I'm going to move fairly quickly over present day wearable computers due to most of these being common. Smart glasses, virtual reality, smart watches, fitness trackers, wearable cameras, and even smart clothing all fall into the group of modern wearable computers. The first smart glasses date back to 2011 and were introduced by Google. Virtual reality dating back to 1987 and was known as TV glasses, but were evolved and made into what they are today. Smartwatches, fitness trackers, and smart clothing all have the same general mindset of tracking health and fitness. I've always been fascinated by wearable technology, and I blame most of that on video games such as Fallout, which previewed the Pitboy. The Pitboy is an advanced personal computer that a player's avatar wears on their wrist. It allows players to track their health information, provides maps of the area, and includes a built-in Geiger counter and radio. You're probably wondering why I'm mentioning of this and how it's relevant. Although the Pip-Boy is fictional and not that much more advanced than our modern day technology, it makes us think about the future of wearable technology. If you think about it from a different perspective, wearable technology isn't just fancy accessories and cool gadgets. It also includes prosthetics such as robotic limbs and even AI for your brain. Elon Musk has already introduced his version of brain-computer interface technology known as Neuralink. He states it can help fight blindness, insomnia, memory loss, and many other medical conditions. Just to recap on everything we discussed, we touched on the history of wearable technology and then moved on to present-day wearable computing, as well as noting future advancements. I recommend researching into wearable computers because they are far more advanced and common than many people realize. I find it to be a very interesting concept, and I'm just going to end on this slide. Thank you for taking the time to be here.